Changing a pouch. Your entire one-piece and two-piece drainable pouch will need to be changed every three to five days. If you see any output or leakage around the pouch, or if you feel any burning or itching under the barrier, change your pouch right away. Just how long you can wear a pouch system depends on how full you allow your pouch to get, how much you sweat or perspire, and how smooth or uneven the skin is around your stoma. Decide on timing. You'll also need to decide on timing pouch changes. For ileostomy and colostomy, it is easier to change the pouch when the stoma is less active, such as the first thing in the morning before you eat or two hours after eating. Gather supplies. Changing your pouch system is much easier when all your supplies are handy, so the first step is gathering everything you'll need. A new pouch, something to clean your skin, such as a damp washcloth or wipes, a sizing template to measure your stoma and size the opening, a pen to trace the size of your stoma, scissors for cutting the opening, and a small disposable garbage bag. Though you may not need them, other stoma supplies include skin barrier powder, skin paste, pouch deodorant, skin barrier rings to fill gaps where the skin barrier may leak, skin sealant to coat the skin so the barrier sticks better, and adhesive remover used to remove skin barrier tape and sticky residue. Most barriers will adhere to the skin with no additional supplies. If your barrier is not sticking, talk to your doctor and ostomy nurse to help you problem solve. Remove the old pouch. To remove the old pouch, begin by peeling away one corner of the barrier. Then work around the rest of the barrier, pushing down on the skin at each point, while at the same time pulling the barrier away from the skin. Some people use a cloth or gauze to push on the adhesive as they remove the barrier. Lastly, place the used pouch into a disposable waste bag. Clean and inspect the skin. After removing the old pouch, look at your stoma and check the color. It should be red and moist. Also, check for any bleeding. This is rare. Then, check the skin around the stoma for any redness or irritation. Your skin should look like the rest of the skin on your abdomen. After inspecting your skin, clean it with water and a washcloth. Do not use scented soaps, oil, or alcohol. Then gently pat your skin dry. If the skin around the stoma is irritated or weepy, you can apply some skin barrier powder to absorb the moisture. Remember that your new barrier will not stick well if your skin is moist. Measure and cut the opening. Next. Measure and cut an opening in the fresh barrier. Most skin problems are caused by the ostomy opening not being cut to the right size. So it is important to measure the stoma and make sure you have the right fit. So, let's do this together. You will need the stoma practice model, pen, measurement guide, scissors, and pouch from your skills kit. Measure the stoma. Use your sizing template and determine the size of your stoma. You should be measuring your stoma practice model. Find the size that fits closest to the edge of the stoma where the skin and the stoma meet. Next, place the template on the back of the pouch barrier and trace the correct size. Use the scissors to cut an opening in the barrier closely following the traced shape. If you're using a one-piece pouch system, Place your finger into the small pre-cut opening and push away the pouch before you start to cut. Be careful not to cut through the front of the pouch. If you do cut the pouch, do not try to tape it closed. It will leak and also emit odor. Center the new opening over the stoma to make sure it fits along the stoma edge. For the first several months, your stoma will continue to shrink in size as swelling goes down. So in the beginning, you will have to measure your stoma with each pouch change to make sure you have the right size opening. After that, you'll be able to pre-cut your pouch opening from your template or order pre-cut pouches. The opening should fit very close to the edge of the stoma 
to prevent skin irritation. If your stoma isn't perfectly round, work with your ostomy nurse or doctor to make a custom template. Applying the new pouch. Now you can attach the new appliance. Start by removing the paper from the adhesive back of the barrier. In this case, we have inner release paper that gets removed first and outer release paper that gets removed after that. Do not remove the side tabs. Next, center the cut opening over the stoma. Place the barrier on the skin around the stoma, hold it in place, and press down on all sides for about 30 seconds to make sure that it is firmly applied. Then, in this case, remove the adhesive side tabs. Now, raise the bottom of the pouch and close the opening. Some people wear a pouch belt to secure the pouch. You can date and keep the paper from the back to use as your template for the next pouch change. Okay, so let's pause as you measure, cut, and apply your pouch to the ostomy practice model.